processor or CPU is one of the key components of a computer system and it's going to be one of the most important decisions you'll make when buying a new PC. Hi, I'm Suzanne Cantra, founder of Techlicious.com. Before you even start thinking about the processor, you're first going to have to figure out how am I going to use this new PC? Now if you're someone who travels a lot, there's going to be a trade-off between battery life and processing power, and a netbook's a perfect solution. The processors in these computers get great battery life, but they're lower powered, and they're great for things like email and web browsing, but not much else. Now when you move into the mainstream of computers, the processors there are going to be able to handle just about everything you throw at them, including photo editing, light video editing and gaming. Now if you're somebody who really needs highly intensive computing power, things for hardcore gamers for instance, or lots of video editing, you're going to want to move up to the best processors out there. If you're in the market for a netbook, there's really only one choice. It's made by Intel called the Intel Atom processor, and it runs at two different speeds. Speed is measured in gigahertz, and you're going to find 1.6 and 1.66. The more gigahertz you have, the faster the processor. For mainstream models, we recommend that you go for a dual core processor. That means there are two chips inside of each central processing unit. Now there are also two manufacturers, AMD which has its Athlon X2 line of processors and Intel which has two lines, the Pentium Duo and the Core 2 Duo which is going to be the higher end model. Again you're going to see speed ratings and that's in gigahertz, 2.2, 2.4, 3.0 and the higher the amount of gigahertz the faster the processor. When it comes to those high-end gaming machines and video editing stations, you have two choices, a fast dual-core processor or a quad-core processor. Again, AMD and Intel have choices. There's the AMD Turian X2, and Intel has three levels, fast dual-core processors, the Core 2 Duos, the Core 2 Quads, and the new Core i7s. So remember, the type of processor you select is largely dependent on the type of computer. And within the type of processor you choose, look for the amount of gigahertz. The higher the gigahertz, the faster the processor. I'm Suzanne Cantra for Techlicious.com.